Got another Scansel to look at today from Mucar. This is the 892BT for Bluetooth. Let's open it up and take a closer look. Hey, what's up YouTube, Dan the Fix-It Man. Got another quick video here for you. This company, Think Car, reached out and asked me if I'd be willing to take a look at their Mucar 892BT. And I said, absolutely. So let's take a quick look at this. Let's open it up and see what comes included. And then we'll get this hooked up to a vehicle and kind of run through some basic diagnostics. Got a protective foam pad here. And let's remove this protective screen here. Now this is exactly the same size as the ThinkScan 689BT that I also did a review on. Now just like the ThinkScan version, this has the same Bluetooth plug-in for your OBD port. It's a really nice strong magnet and it holds onto the back of the tool really strong. It also has a really nice kickstand so you can just pop that out and set that up. That also comes in handy to hook this up on a steering wheel. But let's go ahead and get this turned on first. Let's just press and hold the power button. Now, while that's booting up, I'll show you what else comes included. You can see we have the little plug-in here for the vehicle, and then you can plug in that dongle. Plus, we also have the Ethernet adapter so that you can do the diagnostic over Internet protocol. Now, in the box, we also have a cable here to charge it. You can see we have a little plug-in here for USB-A and a USB-C. And we also have a little power adapter, power supply in here. Also have another Ethernet cable right there. And here is the quick start guide as well. If you'd like to spend some time and read through that and familiarize yourself with the tool, you know, like any scan tool, this is gonna have a learning curve. Now, just like the ThinkScan, this is an eight inch touch screen. It's really responsive. See, as I go through here and click all of these buttons, it's easy to use. Now, the biggest difference between the MooCar version and the ThinkCar version is this is really more tailored to a DIY type of enthusiast. Um, definitely more of an advanced DIY type of tool, but this will help you diagnose and reset some of the maintenance items in your vehicle. Now, the first button here, the auto search, that will automatically detect a VIN. You can also go in here and manually select your vehicle's brand, model, year, engine type, and other information. And then here, the OBD, this is going to read your fault codes, clear fault codes, freeze frame data, inspection monitor readiness. It does have live data, O2 sensor monitor, onboard monitoring test, control operation of onboard components, basically some bi-directional controls. Here is the history. We can take a look at the diagnostic records and access previously diagnosed vehicles. This does save the diagnostic report that can be viewed or shared. And then feedback. So if you have any issues during diagnosis, you can reach out to the MUCAR team and they will analyze and help you solve that problem. Let's take a look at maintenance. So these are all of the little icons and the functions that this tool will perform. So we've got the air fuel ratio reset, ABS bleeding, add blue reset, adaptive front lighting system reset, air suspension matching, airbag reset, anti-theft and key matching. You can do battery matching, brake pad reset, clutch matching, diesel particulate filter regeneration, electronic water pump starting, ECU reset, EGR adaptations, electronic throttle adaptation, FRM matching, gateway module data calibration, gear learning, gearbox learning, Learning, injector coating. This will reset the catalytic converter learned values. Odometer meter reset. Oil reset. Rainfall light sensor settings. Seat calibration. Steering angle reset. Stop start settings. Sunroof initialization. TPMS reset. Transport mode. Turbocharging matching. Tire size adjustment. You can set the parameters of the modified or replaced tire. And windows calibration. You can perform a door and window matching to recover ECU initial memory. Now the upgrade section here is for vehicle diagnostic software. You can download and install the latest version of the diagnostic software ensure the optimal diagnostic results. This does have free lifetime updates. It also has other maintenance software that you can download and install just the latest version and then more. So here's your settings, online service. So after the Wi-Fi is connected successfully, you can access to real-time product information, technical support through online customer service. This also has an e-manual, OBD fault code library, coverage list, TPMS. You can actually get a TPMS tool and it will copy the sensor ID and so you can program those. This has gadget for Google Chrome. Now you can even get remote assistance or technical support through remote diagnostic tools. Pretty straightforward. Now I'm gonna take this out to the driveway, plug this into a vehicle and we'll see how it does. All right, hopefully this is showing up okay. It's a little bit of a glare on the screen, but I'm, I'll try to turn the brightness up on the, uh, the camera here, but let's see if it will find our VIN. There we go. So the VIN pulled up right away and it says it is a 
USA Ford 2016 Transit. Okay, so we can do a health report, system scan, system selection, special functions, common functions, module programming, or vehicle information. Let's go ahead and take a look at that health report first. Now we recently had some issues with this van. We actually had a fuel pump go out. We got it fixed, but uh, luckily we had a scan tool with us on the road. We were, we were traveling, but now it looks like we do have a couple fault codes, so we'll take a look and see what that is. Okay, so 13 different systems scanned. It says that we have two DTCs. So the first one here, APIM, Accessory Protocol Interface Module. Let's see if we can read any more about that. Okay, so it's a B108E63-08. It says Circuit Component Protection Timeout. We'll have to look into this one a little bit more but it sounds like it has something to do with the display. That display sometimes glitches a little bit, but we'll have to take a look at that. And then the body control module, abnormal. Let's see what kind of code we have here. Read the continuous memory DTC, fuel tank level sensor. Okay, well, I just installed a new fuel pump with a fuel tank level sensor. Now, before I clear that, I wanna go back and see if we can do a little bit of a, let's try a data stream here and see if we can see what that fuel tank level is saying. Because right here on the display, it's showing about a quarter tank. Okay, we've got a lot of different things on here. Oh, right, here we go. Fuel level percent and fuel pump and fuel pump monitor and fuel pump fault. Let's just pick everything that has to do with the fuel pump. All right. Let's hit OK. So here we have fuel level percentage. 29% fuel pump is off. The vehicle's not running. Fuel pump fault, no error. That's great because we did just replace this. No error on that, no error here. Open loop, that's because it's probably not running. Let's go ahead and start the vehicle and see what happens here. Let's see how long it'll take for that to go into closed loop. There. Just changed to closed loop right there. So that's good. No error, no error on the fuel pump. And the fuel level is saying 29%, which I think is really accurate because we're just over a quarter tank. Now I don't see any issues here that are jumping out at me, but uh, maybe we did need to reset that. Let's take a look at that fault code again. I'm gonna turn the vehicle off, but leave the key on. Let's pull that up again. Okay, so our fuel tank level sensor. I'm going to go ahead and erase this now because I don't think we have an issue with that. So let's hit clear DTCs. Yes, I'm sure we want to do that. So now it worked. There is no DTC. Let's take a look at our system scan. So here you can take a look at each system and do a scan on each one. For example, we can scan that body control module again. Let's see if anything comes back. Read fault code. Continuous memory DTCs. There are no DTCs. Great. Let's go back. Now let's try an actuation test here real quick. Show you how that works. Let's take a look at the horn output. So it says passive anti-theft system delivery mode value service. So we hit active and it turns on, inactive and it turns off, but it definitely works. Let's take a look at high beams. You might have to turn on the headlight switch for that to be active. Let's take a look. Oh, they work, they're on, now they're off. You know, you can turn on the reverse lamps. For example, if you don't have somebody to help you or throw it into reverse and you have this tool and you have it plugged in, you could stand behind the vehicle and turn on the reverse lamp with this tool. There's a lot more things in here that you can do and I'm obviously not gonna be able to cover each one, but well, let's go ahead and end our diagnostic session here. And here it sends us a little chime and a little reminder to remove the dongle from the vehicle. Just make sure that you don't forget to take the VCI or the dongle out and uh, hook it back into the scan tool here. And I'm going to go get this plugged in and charged up so that I will have it at the ready next time I need it. Well, that's pretty much it. Just a quick little intro on the Mucar 892BT from ThinkCar. Really happy with it. Definitely does what it's supposed to do. You know, as far as having a tool like this, it can save you so much money. Just with one repair, this tool can pay for itself. Now, I know this is tailored to the DIY, but it's definitely an advanced scan tool. Way more advanced than just a little code reader and this can get you pointed in the right direction and help you diagnose and solve your problems. Again, you've got all of this information at your fingertips and you've got lots of different ways to look that up. Now, this is going to cover most vehicle makes and models. If you have any specific questions as far as coverage, reach out directly to ThinkCar and they can help you with that. But I hope you guys like this quick little introduction and of course, I'll get a link in the description where you can pick up this exact same scan tool for your vehicle as well. Thanks so much for watching and good luck.